common issues, problems, or scenarios we come across while using the DM service on daily basis. Here is a condition or scenario. We have received the user request where they say that we have had a team member resign and he has had a couple of RFIs in DM assigned to him. Can I reverse those uh, assigned packages so that we can respond instead? Yes, you can. You can delegate the packages to yourself for responding. To do that, you will need the administrative permissions in your project. Open the RFI packages sent to the colleague that left your company. And on the right hand side, under the forward drop down, as you can see in the snapshot, click on delegate option. Then select yourself as a delegate recipient and confirm the delegation. You will become the recipient that needs to respond the RFI then. I'll hand it over to Dan for explaining the scenario number two. Okay, there have been instances where uh, users are not receiving emails from deliverables management. This is normally due to a spam filter on the user's end causing a rejected or bounced email. There are two ways to resolve these, two easy ways to resolve these. The first is through the uh, PWDM settings, which will be uh, demonstrated in the video after this slide. Basically, you open PWDM settings and um, in the right corner next to the new button, select notifications and the sender and format tab, which I had briefly covered earlier, and note the sender email address. You can change it from um, no reply at bentley.com to no reply at your domain.com will normally allow you to bypass the um, spam filters because it's a known domain. If that doesn't work, you can always create a service desk, a service request with a help desk to look for bounces in our send grid system. The details of the service request should include the user's email address that's not receiving emails, and the description should mention please check for bounced emails from user. I'm going to show a quick video on how to change the no reply email to a domain that will work for, that should work for you to bypass your spam filter. This is a demonstration of how to change your sent from address for your deliverables management packages in case of situations where you are getting bounced by your internal firewall from our no reply address. You will start from your project, you will go to administration to your deliverables management settings, and to your notifications. From here, you go to sender and format, and you can change your sender email to any email that should bypass your spam filter for your company. It doesn't, because you want to change this to something besides Bentley.com, possibly no reply at yourcompany.com. That's how you apply your change. Once you do this, you should be able to change this. If you do it correctly, you should be able to bypass your spam filter with something that won't be bounced because it'll be identified as coming from your domain. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to hand over to Maduri for the uh, third QPI session scenario. All right, the next common question or scenario we see is user says, advice if we can bulk upload the documents in the deliverable management so that we will be able to generate the transmittal automatically rather than inputting the file description one by one. I'm going to demonstrate this with a short video. All right, I have predefined or predefined a zip folder in, in which I have created three files which I want to upload to the transmittal along with the attribute template. In the attribute template, as you can see, I'm going to open it in the Excel file. I have added the name of file, file path, version, state, description, and other details, other attribute values, which I would like to pre-populate while uploading the documents in the reverse management transmitter. In the same template, you will be able to see the yellow comment box on which how to configure this template. It will guide you the steps needed to be followed. Save the template go back to the new transmittal in the deliverables management, click on new transmittal, specify the subject for your transmittal, specify the purpose from predefined values, add the comments if you would like to set the distribution rule, you are allowed to set one. Go to the recipients tab, click on add recipients, add intended recipients, now go to the documents tab. In the Documents tab, you will be able to see two options, upload a zip package and upload an individual file. As this is a bulk upload, we are going to choose the upload a zip package. 
So before moving further, do not forget to click on save draft and save this. Click on upload package. Here you can see the download document attribute upload template option is available from where you can download the default delivered template. As I have pre-configured template and documents inside it, I just click on browse and click on VM upload. It will upload the selected package. You will be able to see the progress in progress bar. And once done, you will be able to see all those three files have been added automatically along with the attribute document attributes, as you can see, the version, state, description, etc. You can also make changes to these attribute values if needed. Now that brings us to the end of our presentation. Thanks for your attention. If you have more questions related to project-wise deliverable management, please feel free to reach out to our communities forum, bentleycommunities.com. Also, if you need any help related to the PWDM functionalities, please refer the documentation available on docs.bentley.com. The links are provided here. Also, do not forget to complete the post-session survey available after this session. Now, we will open this forum for question and answers. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.